Yay, so thanks so much Rainbow Friends for helping Hippie catch the cows and put them back in the paddock and then move the fences and stuff. So the sun, it's still out up the top by Hippie's garden and where that little special tree is that he wants to show you. So we're gonna head up there and we'll go and have a little look, yeah. Hey Rainbow friends, so Pippi and Moonbeam, we were just working out in the garden today. We were trying to line up where we we're going to put the new garden, and we discovered on our beautiful swan plant there's some monarch butterfly caterpillars. Wow, cool! Come check them out. Here's one just here. Just there on the bottom of that green leaf, there's this amazing caterpillar. It's a striped caterpillar. It's got yellow and white and black stripes on it. Wow, cool. Wow, so neat. The swan plant, or the gomphocarpus, physocarpus, as the scientists say, it's the favourite food for the monarch butterfly or for the caterpillars which turn in to those magnificent monarch butterflies. Wow, that's so cool. Hippie's just having a really good look at this one up here. Oh. So the caterpillars, or sometimes they're actually called larva, they eat so much of the swan plant, they grow so fast, they can shed their skin, like the outside of the uh, caterpillar, they can shed their skin up to six times in their lifetime. Wow. So that big beautiful monarch butterfly, it comes and lands on the swan plant and it lays its eggs under the leaves. So the eggs, they stay on the underside of the leaves and then they emerge into these neat as caterpillars. It takes about three weeks for them to get big enough, full size, and then they turn into what's called a pupae. And so when the caterpillar turns into the pupae in that neat little chrysalis, it takes about 14 to 21 days to hatch into the beautiful monarch butterfly. And the butterfly, in summertime, it lasts around two months, but if it's born in autumn, which it is now, they can last six to seven months, those monarch butterflies. That's awesome. Hippie loves the monarch butterfly. They're really beautiful and they're a lovely thing. Like if we're out here in the garden, seeing the monarch butterflies fly around, it's really cool. So when the monarch butterfly hatches from that wee chrysalis, it usually does it in the morning. Hopefully Hippie will be down here early enough to see it hatching one day because there's a little chrysalis down here with a pupae in it. So when it hatches from its chrysalis, it emerges out and it, it hangs upside down from that chrysalis. And it stays there for about two hours while its wings get firmer and they dry out from being inside such a small little space. And then after about two hours, it'll fly away and have wonderful adventures. Yeah. Hey, Rainbow friends. So down here, Hippy doesn't want to touch it because he doesn't want to disturb it or hurt it. There's Romeo. Ha. <laughs> but there's that little chrysalis. Yeah, they start off green and before the monarch butterfly hatches, it turns into a clear color. The monarch butterfly's scientific name is kind of weird as well. It's Danus plexippus or something. Oh, wow, here's another one just up here, Rainbow Friends. There it is, just there. Wow. It's a nice bright green colour, that one. Down here, there's another one. These big ball things with the little spikes on them, that's how the swan plant spreads its seeds to make more swan plants. Here's a seed pod that's already opened and spreading its seeds around. There's a bunch of seed pods down here on the ground. Hopefully next year we get a whole heap of swan plants popping up. Check it out down here, Rainbow Friends, there's another one. That's not even on the swan plant. The little caterpillars must be getting all over the place. Wow. Hopefully we have heaps of monarch butterflies flying all over on the hippie land. That'd be really neat. Wow, the chrysalis is pretty amazing. 
So Hippie doesn't want to disturb the little caterpillar too much. We'll be real gentle to them. Hey Rainbow friends, so we have a look inside one of these fresh ones that haven't opened yet, these seed pods. Hippie's pretty interested to see how it looks. It's full of these little stringy milky bits, so that'll all dry out and turn into the seeds, yeah. Hippie won't disturb any more of them because we want to try and have more swamp plants. Hippie found another caterpillar up here. Yuck, what's Moonbeam doing? She's into Hippie's compost. Moonbeam, come here, Moonbeam. Yuck, get down. Yuck, she's always into yucky stuff. What was she eating down there? Yucky old banana peels and stuff, gross. So Hippie and Moonbeam, we're so excited to share the swamp plant with you rainbow friends and we'll keep coming out here and checking and trying to see if we can see one of those little chrysalises hatch into a beautiful monarch butterfly. Wow, it'll be really neat. Wow, look rainbow friends, it's starting to emerge from the chrysalis. Awesome. See it coming down and climbing up the chrysalis? It needs to hang upside down now for two hours for its wings to dry and harden. Wow, there he goes, going for a nice walk in the sun and flapping his wings. Wow, what a beautiful butterfly. Look, he's sitting on Hippie's finger. There he is against the beautiful blue sky. What a lovely orange color on the wings. And off he goes into the sky to have beautiful, fun adventures. Yeah. Hey Rainbow friends, are you enjoying the video so far today? Yeah, cool. If you're enjoying the video, make sure, tell the big people and the guardians in your life Hit the subscribe button and you'll find out as soon as Hippie makes a new video. Yeah. Whee! <laughs>
Hops along, hops along, fuzzy wuzzy caterpillar hops along, out to see the world. Fuzzy wuzzy caterpillar goes to sleep, he goes to sleep, he goes to sleep. Fuzzy wuzzy caterpillar goes to sleep in his warm cocoon. One day he will turn into a butterfly, a butterfly, a butterfly. One day he will turn into a butterfly, out to see the world. Yay, Rainbow friends, that was real fun having a good sing-along and a dance-along acting like caterpillars and butterflies. Yeah, woohoo! Hey, kids! Welcome to today's Mindful Moment with Hippie. Yeah! Hey Rainbow Friends! So today's Mindful Moment is about adaptability. Or you could say being open to change. Things are constantly changing in life and the more that we can flow and move with the change in life, the easier and more enjoyable things would be. So when there's a big change in life, it can sometimes make us feel a little bit scared or nervous, but the more we can accept things and be open to change and adaptable, the easier it will be. And often from big changes, really wonderful, good opportunities come for us. Yeah. So as an example of adaptability, we could look at today that little caterpillar, how it turned into the big, magnificent, beautiful butterfly. That was a huge, big change for the little caterpillar. The little caterpillar might have been a bit scared about going to sleep and turning into the big butterfly, but the little caterpillar, he was adaptable, open to change, and he went to sleep in his little chrysalis, and then one day he woke up into the big, beautiful butterfly. Yeah. So another example of being adaptable and open to change, it's autumn here at Hippie Land. So Hippie, he's being adaptable and he's changing his garden. So Hippie and Moonbeam, we're being adaptable and open to change. These old tomato plants weren't doing very well anymore. It's getting a bit cold for them. So we pulled them out and we've planted these lovely cabbages and there's some cauliflowers and some broccolis. Yeah. So there's probably lots of examples in your hippie lives where you need to be adaptable and open to change. Maybe for example, if you start going to daycare or to school, or you might change schools or daycare, you have to be adaptable to that. It could be a little bit scary going to a new place, but if you can accept it and go with it, you'll meet new friends and you'll have lovely, wonderful new experiences. Hey Rainbow friends, so it's starting to get a little bit cold here at the Hippie Land. Moonbeam is being adaptable by putting on her little swan dry jersey. Yeah! Good job being adaptable Moonbeam, yeah! Hey Rainbow friends! So just as Moonbeam was being adaptable to the cold change in seasons, Hippie's being adaptable and open to change. He's splitting some firewood for our fireplace to keep nice and warm. Yeah! It's pretty hard! Another example of being adaptable is sometimes Hippie and Moonbeam, we have to go to the town to get things for the Hippie Land. And Moonbeam on the Hippie Land, she can just run around wherever she wants and it's real fun for her. But she's a little bit silly sometimes. So if we go to town, Moonbeam has to be on a lead. Hey Rainbow friends. So Moonbeam and Hippie, we have to go to town to get a few things. So. Moonbeam, she's been adaptable to change and she's on the lead. Yeah, off we go.
Another example of being adaptable and open to change is if, say for example, you're in a small little bed and then you move to a big bed, that's quite a big change. And if you fight against it, you might not sleep very well and it'll be really not fun for you. But if you're adaptable and open to change, you might love sleeping in that big new bed. Hey Moonbeam, Pippi reckons this bed's getting a bit crap for us now, we can't really fit in here so well anymore. I wonder if we should try a bigger bed. Pippi's a bit nervous about trying a bigger bed, though it's quite a big change. What's that Moonbeam? We should be adaptable and open to change. Okay, we'll give that big bed a go. Wow, Moonbeam, this big bed is way better. We've got heaps of room to move around. Thanks for inspiring Hippie to be adaptable and open to change. So, the more that we can accept things and be open to change or adaptable, the more fun and easy our lives will be and they'll be beautiful lives like the lovely little caterpillar that turned into that magnificent butterfly. Yeah. Hey Rainbow Friends, so that's the end of the video for today. It's been so wonderful having you all down here at Hippie Land. We learned about heaps today, eh? We saw how the caterpillar, it turns into the magnificent butterfly, the different stages, so the monarch butterfly lands on the leaves, lays its eggs, the eggs turn into the caterpillar, and then the caterpillar goes to sleep in its chrysalis, and then eventually it turns into that magnificent butterfly. Wow! We had our sing-along with Hippie. We sang the Fuzzy Wuzzy Caterpillar song. That was really fun. We learned about some colors and some numbers. And we had our mindful moment learning about adaptability or being open to change. So I hope you had a wonderful day here at Hippie Land. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to tell the big people in your life, hit the subscribe button and you won't miss any of Hippie and Moonbeam's wonderful adventures. Bye for now.